People heading out on the water, but tonight new data on bacteria in our waterways may have you thinking twice before you take that plunge. In fact, two thirds of water testing sites showing high amounts of fecal bacteria as a result of recent rainfall. News 2 Sophia Arizoza has more on the findings and what they mean for your safety. This water may look unassuming, but recent testing from Charleston waterkeepers shows it has above average bacteria levels. You need to know what the data and the science say in order to know whether or not it's safe for you and your family to get in the water. This week, 11 out of their 15 sites are deemed unsafe for recreational use. And that's because of uh, all the polluted floodwaters and polluted stormwaters. So when it rains and all that water collects on the streets and the ground, and then washes off, it takes all the pollution that's on the ground with it. It's not just the number of sites compromised that's alarming, but the amount of bacteria found. You might imagine you've got, uh, you've got malfunctioning septic tanks, you've got uh, leaky and overflowing sewer infrastructure, you've got dog waste, pet waste, you know, all manner of herbicides, pesticides, uh, you know, fertilizers. Charleston Harbor near Patriots Point testing 50 times the state standard for bacteria when it comes to recreational use. Shem Creek, Hobcock Creek, and the Ashley River not far behind. You know, when the, when the water's polluted after rain or during and after rainstorms, it, it really makes those activities can become a health risk. Threatening the health of wildlife, posing possible dangers for those who want to enjoy the water. And, and that's really a shame because that's what makes this area so special is, you know, the ability to get out and paddle and swim and surf and, and, and you know, sail and enjoy all those activities. Health risks range from gastroenteritis, skin rashes, and ear, nose, and throat problems. If you do decide to swim near the flag sites, despite this data, you are urged to wash your hands, face, and body as soon as possible. Reporting in studio tonight, Sophia Erzoza, Count on Two.